In this video we're going to install Codeception into our Symphony 2 install and to do that we're going to be going down the Composer route. Now as you can see there are some other routes that you can do, you can do the manual install and you can do a git uh, install as well so if you want to go ahead with any of those sorts of routes that's that's um, your decision but what we're going to do is use Composer. Now I'm not actually going to follow this particular path, I'm going to go over to Packagist and we're going to be installing uh, code section 2 but just to be aware that if you're installing code section 2 you will need PHP 5.4 even though in the top corner there it says PHP 5.3 that in the top corner is actually referring to code section 1.8 and again we're using code section 2 whoops so code section and then as you can see we've got the 2.0 release and then there's the old 1.8 release well it's not old it's still actively in development it's just we're going to go with two. So I'm just going to take that whole line and I'm just going to go across to our PHP Storm, open composer.json, and oh, it's still in the right position there. We're not actually, if you've used Composer before, you're probably used to sticking everything into the require block. We're not actually going to do that. We're going to stick this into require dash dev. So I'm just going to put a comma at the end there and then paste this in. Make sure there's no comma at the end. Save that file. So what we've done there is put that into require dev and the reason we do that is because when we go onto our live environment and we run a composer install or a composer update, particularly after maybe going into production, um, we don't want to install our test suite, there's no need and it's extra stuff that may inject uh, vulnerabilities or whatever but it's just an additional requirement that you don't need. So now that we've got that installed we can go across to our command line and you can see here we're on our server, we're in the web directory, so just to um, show you there, we're actually in the, the root, so it's matching those files there. And then we're going to do a composer update dash dash, that's minus minus dev. And then we're just going to let that run, and what that will do is install all our required dev dependencies as well as our required dependencies. So I'll probably take a couple of uh, minutes, depending on how quick your internet connection is. I always find that Composer, um, it, it can take a while. Now there is a few little extra things you can do like uh, putting the dash dash prefer dash dist which goes off and gets I believe a zip file as opposed to downloading all the files individually. But in this case that's good enough and we're just going to leave that because we've only got one dependency. And there we go. It's all these other things here. If we look back at, uh, well if we look here where it says all these requirements anything that it does require that we didn't have it's going to have downloaded for us and if we just oh it's still installing there but you can see it's actually cloning away there from github I believe um, so if we come back to this in a sec if yeah when it finishes oh there we go perfect timing we change into our vendor directory we can see my local copy in the vendors, uh, we don't have anything Codeception. This is local. I, what I do is I work locally and then upload to a VMware uh, virtual machine Linux server, which is, it is running locally on my laptop, but it's effectively a completely separate server. So I've got a local copy and then I upload it to my server. So currently locally, I don't have those those files that have just been downloaded but if we look in the vendor directory now we can see Codeception and a few other things Facebook, Guzzle etc the, the dependencies have been downloaded and installed and again if I go up here and do a download from Codeception is awesome it will actually pull in those but it's going to take um, it's going to take a while to do that so at this point Codeception is installed and in the next video we will be looking at how to actually set it up so we can use it.